To hope is to relinquish all personal responsibility on the way a circumstance or event will turn out. It's sort of like saying, I have no clue how this will turn out, so I'm just going to wish for the best and just hope that everything goes through and rectifies itself on its own. I really don't want to work to try to fix it. Derek Jensen, the author of Endgame, says that hope, in fact, is a curse, a bane. Hope leads us away from the present and into some distant imaginary future state. When reading his article Beyond Hope, I grew to understand the grotesque nature of hope and the real damage that it does to our civilization, culture, and society as a whole. It acts as a placebo, a sweet, sweet medicine that will take away all of our pains, all of our frustrations and sufferings, yet in actuality is really nothing. We have been deceived. Derek refers to it as a secular way of keeping us in line. Yet, do not consider the death of hope negative in any way, shape, or form, for what is truly being eliminated is not true hope, but rather false hope. Many of us hope widely, falsely, and on things that really do not deserve the time of day. Consider it an awakening to the situations right in front of your eyes. If we realize the degree of agency that we as people have, we no longer have to hope. We simply do the work. Do not fall victim to a movement of hope and simply hope alone. For hope is imaginary, unseen, non-existent. It is a created state of mind used to cope to the situations that one is going through at the current moment. Coping in our civilization has taken many dangerous forms such as alcohol abuse, drug abuse, spouse abuse, uh, depression. These are ways to cope with your situation to make things easier for you, at least in a mental state of mind. Yet the most dangerous of all is false hope. You think that things will get better. You hope that things will get better. You wish for things to get better. But as long as you don't do anything about it, they won't get better. And that is the reality of the situation. We must learn to quit relying on hope as our way to overcome situations. And we must start working, start protecting the people that we love, the things that we love, the places that we love, start movements, ending war, enlightening minds, changing the systems that do not work, simply creating a better world for us all to live in. When you murder hope, you lose it. But then you realize that you never needed hope at all. When you murder hope, and I'm not talking about true hope, I'm talking about false hope, you become dangerous. Dangerous in the minds of everybody else around you. Because what was once an idea, a wish, a thought, now becomes an action, a reality. And what you truly hope for will come to pass as long as you work. Take action. Take a stance. Peace.